Okay, who's here? Okay, so this is what we're going to do today. So I'm going to show you something that is a little different. So everything else has been plowed. This row right here has not been plowed. So what we're going to do, good morning, how are you? We're going to come in here and we're going to plow this row because I'm number one. So we're gonna plow this row right here and then we're gonna plant these seeds. So if no one has ever done this before, this is how we are gonna do it. We are gonna come across with this little scraper thing. I don't know. I know it's, it's like a little small garden rake and we're gonna do this because the lady told me the other day. So those of you that are just tuned in, this is the church spoon garden. It's over there, the church spoon. So we're gonna do it like this and we're gonna do it as quickly. You see, it's not gonna take much time. Nope. Everybody say, I don't have the time. Yeah, you do. You have the time. You can do it. So you can go that way, you can go this way. I'm doing it this way so I can take out these little, they may be weeds or something. I don't know what they are. But they're little plants. But by the time I get finished with them, they will be nothing nothing at all so what is a seed a seed is a something that will it has the capability of duplicating itself all over again so it's that mechanism it is that product it is that nucleus it is that seed it's just a seed okay yeah so it reproduces itself of whatever it is so you see we're moving pretty quickly here I'm left-handed but I'm working with my right hand uh, then I'll go to my left hand to make sure that I can get this stuff done quickly quickly so those of you that have been thinking about doing some things get up and do them it's a little early in the morning and so it's nice and cool still i can't stay out here long no lord no lord so i'm gonna get this whole thing let's see i'm a little tired already <laughs> i have to get the whole row done in order to be effective because when we start planting the actual seeds the lady told me just sprinkle them on and cover it back up. But you can't sprinkle them on and cover back up if you haven't tilled the ground. So they're still a part of this process. Still a part of this process. So if we get it done quickly, get it done, yeah, quickly, then we can move on and get everything planted. And then we don't have to worry about it. Woo! I'm more than halfway, but I'm tired. <laughs> I am tired. Shucks. Oh my God. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. If you're not, make it a wonderful day. You make the decision. You're not responsible for anybody else. You're only responsible for yourself. So I would suggest make the decision to make it a good day. You can control your happy, honey. Yes, you can. Uh, okay, so here we go. There's a lot of weeds, I guess, down here. But you won't be here long. Nope. Mm -mm. Tear it up by the root. Get these weeds up. Tear the weeds up by the root darlings do that we're almost here almost here just think about everything you're frustrated about and get out here and get these weeds up that'll do it uh-huh that will do it it will do it honey and you saw what it was before now see what it's going to be. Yep. I got a 
pretty strong arm, so. Oh, Lord, what is going on with the string? Yep. So we're almost done getting this rocks and weeds torn out so that we can be able to plant our new seed. This is going to be exciting. Okay, a little bit more, a little bit more. Now let me show you something. The devil is telling me to stop and I'm this close to the end. But I'm not going to listen. I'm going to keep on going because I need to get this done. It's just like in life. You almost get to the finish line and he'll tell you, you don't need to do that. You don't have to do that. You did enough. No, until you get to the finish line, honey, that's when you can win. So get up and let's get going. Look at that. Got all the weeds out. Now, normally you can just have another uh, utensil to use, but I don't mind getting this done this way. And we're almost here at the end of this. So we got it up. We have it, here it is. We made it down to our marker. Yep. We did it. We did it. You were here with me and you saw that we what? We did it. Let me get those out. We did it. All right, didn't take us long. Didn't take us long at all. And we have conquered that. We have conquered that. Yep. Get all of the, these are my garden pants and shoes, all of that. Okay, so could you all see? that we did the entire row. I didn't think I was gonna be able to do it, but we did it. And I say we because you're here with me. You also, we always have some rocks. So we just toss those over to the side. Nothing is going to be just simple and easy in life without you having to do some work. So, I'm suggesting to you, know what you're getting into. You know, your initial thought of a process may not be the way that it's going to be, but guess what? As long as we get it done, once you start, then put in your mind, I've got to finish. I think I can, I think I can. You remember the little engine that could? Yeah, the little engine that could. It was one of my favorite stories. I would ask my mom, could you read it again? Read it again. I didn't know that it would be so significant in my life, just like it should be in your life. If you haven't ever heard of it, it's about a little, a little, um, a little engine, small engine that had to, the responsibility of pulling the train. Well, you know, all of the other cars in the story we're talking about do you think he can do it i don't think he can do it he's so small he's so small but the difference was everything that was talking about him they were all the box cars but no matter what size he was he was the little engine but he was the only one that was the engine so let me show you something you are the engine honey Everything else is talking about you in your life that is negative. They're boxcars. They don't even have the capacity and capability of taking the train forward. They can only carry things. Now what they carry, who knows? But that is their job. But your job is to be the engine. So you have to look at being the engine. The responsibility of the engine is keep it going do what the requirements are 
Find out what the responsibilities are. And honey, you're the engine. <laughs> so you're the engine. When you feel like giving up, if you're listening to me, come on and hit some hearts or some something. I don't know what you're going to hit. But just tell yourself all day long when you get up in the morning, when you go to bed at night, throughout the day, I'm the engine that can. I'm the engine. There's another rock. When you get rocks in you stumbling blocks and rocks yep so you get that out of the way and you keep moving you keep moving so this thing has quite a few rocks in it but we're gonna see if uh you have to turn this over that way you become very uh creative with this thing to make sure that you can get stuff done okay so look this is what we're gonna plant today. And I'm not gonna hold you long, but I'm gonna hold you long enough that you'll understand what we're doing. Those of you that are on here, I wanna say thank you, thank you. Thank you for sharing your time again. You're looking at the church spoon. Ba -da 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 -da. Ba -ba -ba. Church spoon garden. And today, this was an extra roll that I said, I'm gonna see if what the lady told me, it's just going to come up because we plant it. Every seed has possibility. Every seed has a job to do. But a seed cannot become what it is without doing what? Putting it in the ground. So that's what we're going to do today. Today is I have some radishes. Some radishes and we have some herbs, some cilantro and some sage and some what else oregano yep so we're gonna put this stuff in the ground and we're gonna see this is our what is today wednesday so we have a church word on wednesday so i don't like to put days on here so today is a day okay so let's just look at what we're looking at and then we're going to plant things but what i think i'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and turn the water on and so the ground can receive the seed. I'm gonna put a little water, put a little spirit on it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Whew. All right. So I'll start down here so that by the time I get here, it'll kind of be okay for us to, to be okay. Okay, I can't, oh Lord. So get it a little moist and muddy. Ooh, now I see rocks. I see the rocks, thanks. I see the rocks. Okay, so we're going to see if this is going to even come up. I have to get that while I'm doing that. And we have the whole garden. You all are going to be surprised at how much you have planted. You really are going to be. You're going, we have a whole garden so I'm putting some water down here so that when we actually start planting let me show you something about dirt it's it's amazing to me soil evaporates absorbs the, the, the water so fast by the time I get to the other end it just looks like I've never done anything you can see the discoloration but Right. I had the, the um, spigot turned the wrong way. So 
here's what we get ready to do. So here's our, oh God, did I, they got a little wet. They got wet. So, okay. So, okay. So y'all got a little wet. So let's put the seeds down. Ooh. This is, these are the radishes. And um, somebody's saying, did you not see it? Hey there, hey there. Is that Sharla neighbor? My little friend, I love you, Sharla. I love you, darling. Come see me sometimes. Come see me here. Come, come see me, sugar. Come see me, sugar. Come see me. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to put some radishes out and pray to God that they come up. Now, this is the row that, to me, may be the little iffy because I'm not familiar with... Okay, so I'm putting out radishes. I'm not familiar with just putting out seed. I'm just going by some instructions that may possibly be to my advantage. So I said, well, I have an extra row. So why not develop? Now, it was absolutely nothing in that entire thing. What? Okay, so we're going to do radishes. After we do the radishes... We are going to do, what, some oregano? Okay, so here's some more radishes. Okay. So they said that these are to come up in 20 to 30 days. So that's going to be exciting for me, honey. I'll be out here shouting in this field once I see that. Okay, so those are the salon. That's the radish. So we're going to put down some, what is this, oregano? Let's see. Wait, 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 wait. This is exciting. Thank you guys for being here with me because this is just going to, you know, this is like a church planning. You got to go get the seeds. You got to pray for what to do. You got to see what you're going to do. You got to figure out how you're going to do it. Then you, ooh, wee, woo wee. Okay, so that was radishes. This is going to be the oregano. These seeds are extremely small extremely small extreme extremely small so we're gonna see let's start these here oh lord they're so little i can't i can't even see the little the itty bitty oh god jesus oh lord they are itty itty bitties okay so that's that what was it? Oregano. So we're going to put some more oregano down right here. Lord, help me today. Let's see. Well, I'm going to see. I think these people jipped me. Cilantro something, something, something. Okay. So this is just going to be a mix. So when they come up, they come up. We'll figure out what they are when they come up. These say that they come up annually. What? That's cilantro. Okay, so let's put the cilantro down. Ooh, I figure when seeds, they hit the ground, they don't know what kind of ground they're going in, but we know what kind of ground. This is fertile ground, and we're going to make it happen, and this is going to be exciting. Most of you all are um, not up yet. A whole lot of you. Okay. So there you go. So that's cilantro. Now we're gonna put some sage. This is uh oh, wait a minute. Sage. And then we're gonna get to the big boys. I'm gonna put some mustard green seeds down here and see what happens. And see what happens. Oh sage is right here. So we'll be able to see sage is right there, okay? So we're moving. We are cooking with grease. So let's do this. I'm going to put some beets down here. I don't know if they're going to come up, but we're going to try it. So that was, so here are some Detroit red beets. Yep. Let's see. Yep. So we're going to put them down in here. Are you all enjoying this? I hope you are. If you're not, 
then we'll try again the next time. So we're going to have a whole lot of beats, I pray. I pray, I pray. So the beats start here. I can tell where they are. And then, I mean, God Almighty, we're going to have beats for days. Enough beats to have a beat factory. But we all need beta carotene in our diets, especially African Americans, because we are deficient in vitamin D. So this is supposed to help us immensely in our diet and health processes. Okay, so that's Detroit Red Beaks. Let's see. So we have a we have a whole garden going with different kinds of things. And here goes, here goes, here goes, here goes. Let me squish this up a little bit. Here goes the mustard greens. And it says Southern Giant Curled Mustard Greens. So here's where they start. Here's where they start. Here's where they start. She said just bring them. So I'm just going to bring them. Okay. All the way down. And it was perfect. Just enough. Just enough. So what are we going to do? We're going to come back over this. And we're going to come back and cover them up. Cover them up. Cover them up. Cover up the seed. Cover up the seed. That that we messed up a little bit, disturbed a little bit, we're cover, coming back and we're covering them. So it's just an easy kind of process. So you push the dirt to the side and then you come back, put the seed in and you cover them. I put a little water on there so that that can kind of get it started, right? Right. Say right. Say right. So here we go. We're gonna cover up the seed that we put down Yep, there you go. From this side and that side. That side and this side. Come back and cover up the seed. Make sure that it's covered. So we put a little water on the base bed of it. And um, hopefully, it's just an easy kind of process. Another rock. Is that a rock? I don't know. I think that was dirt. I don't know. That's dirt. But I'm going to take it out. Okay, so we cover it up. Come back, cover the seed from the left and the right, top to the bottom, however you wanna call it or how you see it from the screen to here. But we're covering it up and see how fast it's going? Okay, it's a rock, I think. Um, cover that up. A lot of these lumps are not rocks, uh, ladies and gentlemen, bees and butterflies. They are actually clumps of dirt. Okay, so we're covering up the seed. We're covering up the seed from both sides. From both sides, we're covering up the seed. Remember, we're the little engine that could. <laughs> Cause I'm the little engine that's uh, getting a little tired, but we're gonna cover it up, cover it up. Cover, 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 cover. These are the Detroit Red Beats. Yep, I can see, see, I see them. Their seeds are a little, uh, they are a little larger than of course. Okay, we're almost at the end, almost at the end. I'm not gonna hold you long, but I'm gonna hold you long enough that you can see that we are making progress. Today, we have a whole new, a whole new row that we just did right here in front of your eyes. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. So you can never say you don't have enough time because you do. And you can't say that you can't do it because you're not strong enough because you are. You don't have to have long rows, but you have to have something that you can actually put something in. So you gotta come back and do what you gotta do. Okay, so I'm covering up. We're doing, covering up the mustard green, curled, large curled mustard green seeds now. And uh, some of this is, I don't know. So we're covering, 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 covering. So here we go. And we are almost, we're almost at the end again. Look at this. Is that a rock? Let me see. So, 
here we go. Here we go, here we go. We are in Michigan, so we can't plant until a certain time. So we are a little behind the, the uh, scale for those that are in warmer climates, but this is where we are, so we have to plant where we are, when we can, and that's what we are doing. So we're almost at the end. And these are the mustard greens. Yep. So we're covering up the seed. We're covering them up so that they can start maturing in the ground. Yep, cover them up, cover them up. Cover them up, cover them up, cover them up. Do a little wish wash. Cover them up, cover them up, cover them up. Do a little wish wash. I say the wish wash is like this. Wish wash is like this. We're almost at the end. Covering up the seed. Yep. So we're gonna. All right, let's see. And we are at the end. We made it to the end. We made it to the end. Okay, so what am I gonna do now? Gonna come back and we are gonna go from we did that guys oh let me tell you something spooners church spooners we did it we did it so now we come back so we had to cover the seed up and guess what we're on our way we are on our way we are on our way so the watermelons are right beside. So I have the um, the peat moss on top so it can kind of hold the water. We have not had any rain here in a couple of weeks. So have to make sure that, uh, yeah, see, mix it up a little. Wishy-washy, come in here and do that. Cause see, as soon as you move that top layer down, it's the weirdest thing, it doesn't exist. God. Okay, so here we go. So we're saturating it. The seed has got to be saturated up under the soil. So you got to take your time. Come down here. Make it happen. It doesn't happen until you make it happen. Always remember that. People can tell you anything, promise you anything, dictate to you everything but you are the determining factor to make it happen for real for you. Come on, so let's do it. We have our seed in the ground and Lord, please let this come up to be a great harvest because I'm trusting you and I'm believing you. I did what I was supposed to do now. I just can't water this one time. I have to come back and be faithful to water. Saturated, saturated, saturated. It has to be, the seed has to be saturated into the ground so that it can take root. Take up roots. Take up roots. Roots, roots. So, there we go. There we go. We're gonna saturate it. We're gonna saturate it. Move this. Saturated, saturated. So we have quite a bit in the ground. So all of this down here are giant curled mustard seeds. Then next would be Detroit red beets. Let me move some of this stuff out like that. I like for it to look nice and pretty. You know, if mud can look pretty. That's what, so you get that. So we have here, Detroit red beets. And then came up, did cilantro. Then we had oregano. So make sure, uh, oregano, after oregano, we had, what? Uh, I know radishes are first, something else. Sage, 
oregano. I figure this, this is gonna be just saturated. This right here. And then guess what's gonna happen? We come out here and we water. This first saturation, I have to immerse and emerge, submerse, submerse this seed uh, into the ground to make sure that it knows it's in the ground. It's no longer in the package. So somebody needs to know that. When the Lord gives you something, you're no longer in the package anymore. That seed is now supposed to germinate and ferment so that it can become what it is made to become. All right, those of you that have been on here, I wanna say thank you so much. Go ahead and tag a couple of people, share a couple of people. I hope that we've inspired you with the Church Spoon Garden to do something differently this summer with your time, with your life. This garden is going to feed many families in ministry and outside of the ministry, anybody that comes by, if they are in need of or desire any of it, guess what? We put in the work, but guess what? It doesn't matter as long as we're enticing and feeding souls to fall in love with Jesus, that's all that matters. So until the next time, I'm gonna tell you, have a wonderful day. Get up and do something. Get up and get excited about life and living. You are in charge of your happy. And honey, decide to do that. And once you decide to do that, guess what happens? Nothing is kept from you. If you haven't heard it all day, I got to let you know Jesus loves you. If you haven't heard it all day, da -da 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 -da, I got to tell you, Jesus loves you. And he loves you so much that he took out time to make you. And since he made you, he made you great. Do something great for someone. That's how he knows you love him. I love you.